Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, man, y'all already know the most high done woke us up this morning. It's Saturday, it's the Shabbat. Hopefully y'all got a good start to y'all's, man. You know, have y'all a peaceful day. You know, a chill day. Still do what you do, you know, but make sure you stay true. You know what I'm saying? But man, I just want to tell y'all real fast, man. Listen, bro, we living in some times to where there's a lot of, you know, illnesses floating around. Every other month, there's something new that's out here, you know, that's being contracted, whether, you know, it's just through, uh, you know, the flu, different strands of COVID, you know what I'm saying? Just germs and... You know, all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even they, they saying that it's things on the way, like they predicting it, you know. And if they predicting it, then that means that they the ones that's putting it out there, honestly. You know, because they in these labs messing around. They got mosquitoes that they uh, that they uh, contract, that, that they have with these diseases that they letting out, you know, into the air. You know what I'm saying? Purposely. So with that being said, bro, you know, you got to understand how important this journey is. You know what I'm saying? Because when you releasing way too much, and guess what, bro? You releasing a lot of vitamins and nutrients that you need to fight against disease. You know what I'm saying? So when you think about zinc, when you think about vitamin C, when you think about B12, all of these things are good for your immune system. You know what I'm saying? And your immune system is what helps you, you know, be able to handle and control some of these illnesses that your body may contract. You know, it helps with blood flow, you know? It helps you, you know, it contributes to more white blood cells, you know, that's in your body. And what do your white blood cells do? It helps heal you. You know, so if you constantly like releasing all of these vitamins that your body needs, then guess what, bro? You know, you're going to be susceptible to be sick more than the average. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, we all going to, you know, get some sniffles here and there. We all going to get the flu or, you know, just, you know, not often, but, you know, we, you know, things happen. You know what I'm saying? But in a lot of cases, bro. Depending on how your health is, you can fight, your body can fight that off easily. But with people that is in a deficiency with vitamins and nutrients and their health is bad, then guess what? These sicknesses is going to always be hitting them. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be more sick than the average person would. Like, you know, when you healthy, bro, like, you know, an illness could last about a day or two. You know, honestly, like when I get sick, it lasts about a day or two. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, for people that may be unhealthy or constantly releasing their life force energy, then listen, bro, they're going to get sick back to back to back to back. And their days is going to be prolonged in that sickness. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful with what you're doing and understand how vital it is that you hold on to your life force energy. You know, it's very 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 important you know <clears throat> and what made me think about that is just you know i told you i had a softball game and you know i hurt my ankle you know so last night my joint was puffed up <laughs> but waking up this morning it feels a lot better you know and the swelling has gone down and i think this journey contributes to that you know being that i'm not ejaculating like how i used to you know being that <clears throat> that I supplement. I take my vitamin three, D3. I take my fish oil, which give me the omega-3s. I take my zinc, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, I'm retaining. So my blood is flowing through exactly how it should be. And I heal more quicker, you know what I'm saying? And I know we all different, but you know, sometimes like you think if I was unhealthy, it wouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you unhealthy, bro, it takes you longer to heal because your blood flow is jacked up. That's why it's important for us to move around. That's why it's important for us to supplement, eat right, all those things so your blood is flowing throughout your veins. It's important that you're drinking a lot of water 
Because when you unhealthy, bro, it's like <laughs> you don't get sick like other people get sick. Your sickness is, is always just blown way out of proportion. You know, you ever know somebody that just like, dang, you know, like you could have, you know, got sick exactly how they got sick. You could have caught the same bug that they caught. But for some reason, theirs are very, they, they sickness is very severe. You know what I'm saying? You're like, dang, you know, we both was around the same outbreak monkey that got us sick. But for some reason, yours then turned and mutated into a whole infection. You know what I'm saying? Yours then turned into a, a sinus infection. You know, yours then turned into a respiratory infection. Like, you know, you got some people that just like really like, you know, theirs just turn into mutate into something else. So you got to understand, bro, like when you just releasing all the time, then guess what? You going to have those same effects on you. So you don't want that, bro. Not in these times, bro, because it's too much floating around. You got too many mad scientists that's out here experimenting. So you think, bro, like with every all these things that's happening right now, and, you know, you just say like, you know, you're not dieting, you're not fasting, you know, you, you steady eating and have all this sodium in you, you know what I'm saying, all these toxins in you, all this processed sugar in you. When you have all these things in you, bro, you, you got to understand, your body is very acidic. So you building up a lot of mucus in your body to where it's just, it just has you super congested. You know what I'm saying? And when you got so much mucus in your chest and in your lungs, it's hard for you to breathe. It's hard for you. You know what I'm saying? Your airwaves closed off. And if your airwaves closed off, you know what I'm saying? Your heartbeat is, you know, working just overtime, just trying to get blood throughout your whole body because, you know, having too much weight on you just make it 10 times worse. So, you know, that's why it's important for us to keep on working, bro, because this journey is a lot bigger than what people think. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about the health side of this as well. You know what I'm saying? And I just couldn't help but think about that because I was looking at my ankle like, dang, you know, that swelling went down. I didn't ice it. You know, I did prop it up, man. But, you know, last night I was walking, you know, I was limping around. I was hopping at one point because that's how inflamed my ankle was. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, y'all understand when your blood flowing, bro, It'll take that, it'll, it'll take that inflammation away. Like say it was just inflammation throughout my whole body, which is like the worst type of, you know, uh, organs you could have is inflamed organs. Cause when your organs is inflamed, then listen, bro, like it's tough for them to work. They double time, they work in double time because they so inflamed. That's why, you know, when you think about pancreatitis, what I was in the hospital for is because my pancreas was inflamed from the alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that caused just like this pain like no other. Like y'all think y'all that had stomach aches and stomach pain, abdominal pain. Like, listen, ain't no pain like pancreas pain. You know, pancreatitis is, it, it, it will put you in the hospital, literally. And it's so bad to where you will need narcotics in order to get through that pain. So you're gonna need morphine, you know, you're going to need Dilaudid, which is worse than morphine. Very addictive. You know, when I got out of the hospital, I was still looking for Dilaudid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to need you going to need hydrocodone. You're going to need a lot to get through that pain of having an inflamed pancreas. So you got to think, bro, when your other organs inflamed, you know, it's very hard for you, bro. So <clears throat> it's very important that we stay on top of this journey. And that's why I say, bro, it's what you do surrounding this journey which is what you know which plays a big role you know oftentimes man we be thinking that this journey is going to do it all for us bro but it don't work like that you know you just can't think that this journey is just gonna do everything for you no bro you gotta put in work surrounding this otherwise you're gonna be in bad shape otherwise it's gonna be meaningless you know what i'm saying you just can't think that one thing is just gonna work out everything else that's wrong in your life. You know what I'm saying? And I had that mindset back a long time ago, just with everything. Like, you know, I, I thought that going to the gym would be able to outwork a bad diet. <laughs> 
and life just don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Like until you take care of that diet, gym don't mean nothing because you know, you still dying in the inside. Your organs is still inflamed and swelling up because of the, the, the food that you eating. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you could go and work out as much as you can, but you can't outwork a bad diet in how you eating. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you do. You just pretty much setting yourself back. You know what I'm saying? Every time you eat bad, you set yourself back. You go to the gym, you move a half a step forward. You eat bad again, you set yourself even further back. So it's just a, a merry-go-round of things. So we got to take care of things surrounding this journey, bro. You know, and this is just something that's going to boost our immune system. You know, because we have our vitamins, we have our nutrients, you know what I'm saying? We have our life force energy, we have our vitality, you know what I'm saying? And you need your vitality, bro. If you just constantly releasing that, then you won't eat every rip, every every term you won't eat. So when you won't eat like that, bro, listen, bro, you just, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you go out, you go outside, bro. You could just go outside and something could be floating in the air and it get in your bloodstream and it'll mess you up. So if you ain't got no defense system to fight that, then you screwed out here. You know what I'm saying? You 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 jacked up. You know what I'm saying? So you think about just going out into some of this toxic air that's out here and the things that they putting out that's floating around. You go around other people, you know what I'm saying? That's that 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 be, you know, germs get around. You know what I'm saying? You got people catching all types of stuff. You know, you got kids, they spreading germs all over the place, catching all types of stuff. So guess what, bro? When you get sick, bro, you're gonna get sick sick. <laughs> you're gonna get sick sick because you know what i'm saying you ain't got no defense system built up your blood not circulating you're not moving enough you don't work out you don't fast you don't eat right you know what i'm saying it's also it's just like it just makes for a bad situation so every time you get sick you you all the way messed up you're gonna be like dang like every time i get sick it's just severe so your allergies is going to be severe. Your cough is going to be severe. Your cold is going to be severe. Your flu going to be severe. And when your flu severe, then what it turn into? Most of the time it turned into pneumonia. So you got to think about that, bro. Like pneumonia kills people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Pneumonia is just like a mutated flu. It started as the flu, but now you have pneumonia. You know what I'm saying? And pneumonia could take it it takes people out, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make sure you building up your immune system and you doing what needs to be done to increase that blood flow. You know what I'm saying? Increase them white blood cells so you can heal. You know what I'm saying? So you could heal, bro. Healing is very important, bro, because we gonna catch stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not even the issue. You know, being a hypochondriac and trying to avoid people and wear masks and this and that. Listen, bro, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? There's people that wear masks all the time and they still get sick. There's germs everywhere. They finding different ways to get us, whether it's through the food, the air. You know what I'm saying? Mosquitoes, insects, uh, all types of stuff, bro. They <laughs> all types of stuff they using, bro. So. You know, it's very important, man, for you to stay locked in on this journey. Stay locked in on your health, bro, because health is the real wealth. That's the real wealth, man. You got people out here tripping. Hey, they'll be sick. Steady talking about they chasing the money, chasing the bag. You sick. What good is it to have money if you can't even really enjoy it in good health? You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you got to stay in the hospital. You got to stay on these prescriptions. You got to stay at these doctor's appointments. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's costing you money, bro. That's costing you money. So so really, bro, it's just like, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean nothing. The money don't mean nothing, bro, if your health is bad. You know what I'm saying? If your health is bad, you can't even really enjoy it. So, you know what I mean? If you got to take time off of work, take that time off of work, go to the doctor, get some labs done, you know, and I understand, bro, you know, uh, like my boy Chuck say, shout out to Chuck, he say, he don't really trust doctors, I get it, you know what I'm saying, some of these doctors, they just give you band-aids, you know what I'm saying, they just give you band-aids, but they never give you the cure, and that's in the scripture, scriptures say they will have many medicines in these times, but no cure, and it's exactly like that through these prescriptions, bro, all types of medicines, but none of it actually cure the problem, bro, and when it cure the problem, 
You know what I'm saying? If it cured a problem, it gives you another problem. So you really don't get healed, bro. They don't never give you anything to heal you, bro. They might do something to hold off one sickness, but it give you another one. And then you get you get something else to take uh, take away that sickness, that pain, and then you end up getting another one. So it's just a revolving door. You know, so I understand that with these doctors. That's why it's important to find one that you could trust and you still at the same time hold up your end of the bargain and do your research and find out what works for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like we had to do with this journey. You know what I'm saying? These doctors not going to tell you that you need to be taking this or taking that. They're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you everything because they just as much a part of this program and in this matrix. So that's why it's important for you to do your research. They have books out there. There is 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 more avenues and information that's out there, which is scripture. You know what I'm saying? But you have to put in that work. You have to take that time to figure these things out. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to keep you sick, but find a doctor, really talk to them. Because if you're not asking them questions, then, then they're not going to tell you. They they got other patients that they waiting on or whatnot. So they just going to give you the, the, the basic stuff. You know what I'm saying? So when you ask questions or whatnot, then guess what, bro? They'll give you that, they'll give you the answer. But if you don't say nothing about it, then you know, they not gonna they not gonna even take the time out to say, hey, you know. But they'll tell you what's wrong though. But you still gotta do your own research and try things out, man. Understand that, you know, that is is very important, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know, at least do the basic stuff with getting your physicals and getting your blood work done, getting your labs done so you can see where these levels is at.